All right, Sunday morning. Let's do a little exploration, guys. Uh, fancy serial number reporting. Um, haven't done one in uh, a little over a week. Um, I found that doing these uh, once every seven to ten days is uh, suitable. Uh, so now that time has come, we are going to take a look at some of the uh, uh, the notable fancy serial number uh, pattern type notes that have sold here in the last uh, last couple days. Uh, I think since since the twentieth uh, today is the twenty first. So last uh, it's say thirty six hours tops somewhere around there. Um, actually the 19th, uh, sorry. So that two, two days, two days there for you. Uh, so we've, uh, we've noticed on the market is incredibly busy for fancy serial numbers more so than it was a year ago. Um, you know, and that's, that's all due to the awareness, uh, not only brought upon by myself, but also some of the other content creators. And there's a fair number of them now, um, here 12 months later from when I first started and uh, a lot of that, uh, again, bringing, bringing awareness um, as kind of like, um, it, it, if, you, if you've been a coin roll hunter, uh, you, know, uh, you know what kind of a grind it is, right? Um, and uh, trying to find something else that, uh, that is, can be a little bit more equally exciting, if not more uh, equitable, uh, has always been on the forefront of a lot of hunters. You know, that's why we do what we do. Treasure hunting uh, not only is fun, but, you know, it also brings the uh, the prospect of, of hitting it big. All right. And um, I'm glad to know that, that this is something that uh, uh, the collector base is growing. The seller base is outpacing it by quite a margin. Uh, but there's still a fair amount of uh, uh, market desirability for a lot of the notes that we're going to talk about here today. All right, so um, you know, a couple little ground rules. Uh, we focus primarily on raw notes. Nothing great, uh, nothing wrong with graded notes, uh, but you have to keep in mind that you have to invest money into grading. Um, it may, it may not necessarily enhance the value of the note. Okay, I think that that apply. That's more ap applicable to like error notes than it is on fancy serial numbers. So um, you know, we we try and target a lot of the raw ungraded material. Um, to give you guys some perspective, what if I found one of these? What can I expect for it if I sold it right away? Um, grading means you have to wait four to six weeks to get your note back. You know, it's in this pretty encapsulated holder. And again, no, no guarantee that you're going to be making your money there. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to be taking a look at each one of the uh, listings here. Uh, it's it's going to give you a baseline of what the photography looks like. Um, you know, much like any other reporting video that I do, uh, photos do play a crucial role in the presentation of the note. Uh, if the photos look good, then it's going to present in a way that's a little bit more professional as a reseller. Um, you know, and that, again, kind of adheres to the quality of the product that you're selling as well if the photos are up there. Um, so one of our uh, uh, regulars uh, on the good old eBay, Ronald JH 2003, um, continuing on yet again here these last few days with some banger notes, uh, along with a myriad of other resellers as well, doing their thing. Uh, so we have a 2017 $1 bill uh, with a quad repeater, but most importantly, um, it's like a, a birth year, 2015, 2015. Um, if it were any other number um, that, that doesn't fall in line with an actual year, then, you know, it might not be as special. And that's the big reason why that this particular note ended at $50. As you can see here, $50 sale, um, seven bids. I believe Ronald, just to give you guys some perspective, he puts his listings up uh, that are... Um, that are bid up type of auctions. He puts them up, I believe, for seven days. So the seven day period, he allows people to come in and take a look and you get more eyeballs on your notes than say doing one with a much shorter duration. I would highly encourage anyone who resells, period, to try out a five or seven day auction if you're gonna do that, okay? If you do anything shorter than that, you run the risk of not getting full market potential for your note. Uh, especially if you need the money right away. So please do keep that in mind. Um, this is a, such a beautiful looking note, uh, as you can see. 
Uh, very little wear. There's a little hard corner uh, fold there on that one there. There's a little close-up of the serial number. And, um, yeah, this is a great example of something that if you do come across, um, save it. Yeah, because, you know, it, it, this this particular uh, fancy serial number will apply to a couple of different uh, crowds. You know, one with one who sees 2015 as being a significant date in history for them or just for a fancy serial number enthusiast. Um, you know, I would say that this is a note that someone could resell for probably 75 to a hundred dollars, um, in, in the future. Okay. The next one here, uh, high denomination alert. Uh, so we, we, uh, kind of cross borders into various extremes here. We just looked at a dollar bill. Uh, but here's a C note here. Uh, so we have to we have to be careful. This sale looks pretty epic. $145.99 on a $100 bill. But please do keep in mind that whatever the face value is of the note is going to be your cost of ownership on it. At the end of the day, the amount of profit made off, this, off of this note isn't all that great after you factor in eBay's fees of like 13% or whatever it is and various other things. So, um, obviously finding the $1 bills with the nice fancy serial numbers is always going to be the, the ones that you want to try and find. Um, but when you do come across something like this, you know, uh, it makes you kind of, uh, take stock into what you can realize for such a note. So this person probably would profit about twenty to twenty three dollars. Okay, I'm just gonna be straight up on, honest with you guys. Um, this is uh, quad pairs. So you have a double six, double nine, double three, double eight. That's what is on there. Uh, the note in all, pretty pretty decent collector grade. I'd say a nice VF thirty uh, on the grade level, which is fine and dandy for uh, for collectors. So uh, there you go, hundred dollar bill. Uh, and with the right situation, there are hundred dollar bills with specific serial numbers um, that are that are worth a considerably more amount of money than a dollar bill. You know, things like solids and double quads and things like that all have kind of like this extra value attached to them because they are on a higher denomination note. Here's a uh, ragtag one dollar bill. Uh, sold by Lawn Man 1183, uh, and it's a fancy radar binary. Um, so, w when it comes to um, uh, selling on eBay, okay, the the right keywords is paramount in the success of your sales. And um, all the while, this particular seller used a couple of the major uh, keywords like fancy serial number, repeater, uh, which it is. You know, they probably could have put binary and radar in there, you know, um, because they're all correct. You know, it's a repeater, it's a binary, and it's a radar. Um, because you have sixes and eights, it reads the same way frontwards as it does backwards, and it is a repeater. 6886 6886 $21.50 with 9 bids. Um, again, if you're going to be uh, home growing your auctions uh, to where people can bid on them, uh, please do charge for shipping, you know, even if it's just 2 bucks. Um, at the end of the day, this person is going to have to pay for shipping out of the sale price of the item when it's not itemized as its own separate contained cost. Okay, so uh, uh, where it probably wouldn't apply as much as on buy it now listings. Uh, so if this person had this for twenty four ninety nine, I probably wouldn't charge shipping, but I would charge a much higher price for the item. Um, but it shows that extra value with not charging any uh, any shipping costs. Uh, so uh, quite a nice note. Um, uh, keeping in mind that the condition is a little bit more rougher on this one, probably a VF 20, maybe a fine 15. Uh, people would still collect something like this as kind of more of a bargain option. If they're looking for something impressive and that's what we have here on this one. Uh, next one that we have here, uh, almost, almost the, uh, the gold ring of, uh, fancy cereals in what we call super radar. Uh, it's one number off though. Uh, so you have 
six in a row fours right down the middle, and then you have an eight and nine on the bookends. Now, if it was a double eight or a double nine, that'd be a lot better. That's that's where we get our uh, uh, our super radars. Name of the fancy serial number. Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, buy a now hit, and uh, you know the, this one is a two thousand seventeen dollar bill. Okay, which that sale price is okay. You know when you're able to achieve twenty times face value. It, it, that's that's fine. That works, you know. Uh, and the seller did take a ton of photos of probably some areas that that are quite meaningless uh, for a note like this. Uh, three to four photos tops, um, and you should be good to go. Too many photos can be a little bit excessive, especially if you don't have the right photos front and center on the listing. So that one's by uh, Arnival. That name is very familiar. Here's uh, another one here from, I think, Jamie Quad 5-4. And it's a 2006 $1 bill. This one is uh, a little bit on the rough side, but it's a very nice low serial number. 142 sold for $28.77 with 10 bids. Uh, full reveal of the note is... Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty rough. Uh, this thing has, has uh, I would say, been saved um, before a certain doom. Uh, I know banks, when they get a hold of notes that look like this, they'll, uh, they'll hold on to them and then uh, send them off for destruction. Uh, so someone really did a solid here and saved this one. It ended up still with a $28 sale. Um, even though I've seen other examples sell for $50 to $75 with the same serial number type. On there, uh, so great save by the way, uh, and congrats to both the seller and the buyer on that one. Here is a, a binary radar, a uh, very nice one, might I add. Uh, Forty dollars sale on this two thousand six dollar bill, and uh, yeah, you got zeros and fours. You got a lot of zeros in there. Uh, I like this one; it's um, visually appealing. Um, to me and uh you know even the note the note is uh again it's pretty rough we're talking maybe fine 15 but uh when you see these serial numbers in person um that that's that's kind of cool a very good sale too 40 bucks on this one very very strong money here's a uh another this is just a straight up binary zeros and fives on a 20 dollar bill unfortunately this person didn't make a whole heck of a lot of money um, maybe profited about six bucks after fees on a twenty dollar bill. Two thousand seventeen A ended up selling for twenty nine dollars ninety nine cents. The the risk three dollars for shipping accounted for in this one. And uh, yeah, yeah, nice binary. Binary, by the way, is any two numbers uh, mixed in the serial number. Trinaries are any three. Um, you know, and there are true binaries and true trinaries for each of those types as well all right i think we have a few of them to talk about uh three uh here's a uh, radar uh one one three four four three one one on this one from ronald uh good looking note um and ronald again selling this one for 29 dollars and 27 cents 10 total bids on the list and uh it's a it's a very straight looking note uh, this one's pretty decent i would say like a vf 35 xf 40 grade so, uh, pretty nice one there. Uh, here is also from Ronald a, um, a, a relatively low serial number star. Okay, any fancy serial number that combines w up with a star uh, automatically brings it up to the next level. And, and, and that I mean by value-wise, um, notes generally are worth a little bit more money when they have a star note on them. $10.50, seven bids. Uh, he does charge $4.79 on the first class. And that is the correct rate, by the way. Someone had said, well, I think you charging $4.80 for your shipments is crazy. But when you go to process the shipments through eBay, they cost anywhere from about $4.50 to $4.90. So it's... It's correct, all right? We're, we're just not, we're not blowing smoke over up anyone's hoo-ha here. Um, this one does have what appears to be a little bit of rust uh, from maybe like a um, paper clip or something to that effect. So this one definitely does have condition issues. And that's what's suppressed the value of this note down a little bit. But keep in mind, what you do? 
you got to hold on to it. Uh, if only you're a diehard fancy serial number collector, or you just go ahead and sell it and salvage what you can out of it. Uh, Ronald also had this uh, binary threes and fives on a 2013 dollar bill. Ended up selling for twenty three dollars and fifty cents. Eleven total bids here. Uh, decent note again that VF kind of realm. Uh, relatively decent paper on this one, but you can see all where the folds are and uh, you know things like that. Uh, threes and fives. Look out for them. Uh, these are pretty consistent sellers in today's market. Here's a uh, binary, uh, another binary, close to a binary radar, uh, if it wasn't for that last digit. Fives and sevens. This one ended up selling for 20 bucks. Again, a pretty solid sale here on this one. Based off of the condition of the note, which looks to be a low-end VF, uh, might have a little bit of a margin tear up here. Uh, kind of hard to say, but, uh, you know, the lower lower condition notes, you know, they t tend to sell for a little bit less. But all in all, uh, Arnival with his 40 photos on there, um, making the case for another great sale. Here is a binary twos and sevens. We have a little run of binaries here. Uh, $12.99 on this one here. A little bit newer seller, 216 feedback, and they are in Hawaii. So even even, even on the islands, uh, they're able to find some pretty epic stuff. All right, so it doesn't matter where you're at in the United States, um, Alaska, Hawaii, uh, you know, down in Caribbean, those areas in the territory territories, um, you know, you can't find these. All right, and uh, new notes are being printed every single day by the BEP. Now, one thing I cannot do anymore is find the best offer prices uh, for notes. Um, the program I was using, 130 Point, had uh, had eliminated the um, ability to look for anything else other than sports cards on there. So, what you going to do? Um, so, you know, again, whoever is interested in doing more research to find out how much these sell for, completely up to you. $10 bill, not a whole lot of room to make some money here, but it's a binary threes and eights. Almost five digits away from a super repeater, um, which would have been epic. Yeah, that would have made this one easily a $100 plus note uh, just from that change there. This is actually a good looking note, you know, uh, as far as condition wise, you know, this is uh, like an XF note. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's very attractive. Um, but yeah, you can see twenty nine ninety five was the original ask on that one there. Uh, here's a twenty dollar bill from Jamie. Uh, this is a low serial four twenty one. Again, not making a whole lot of money here. Maybe seven seven or eight bucks after fees. Uh, twelve twelve bids on this one for thirty two dollars, and you can see uh, four twenty one. Uh, if that was serial number 420, believe it or not, people pay some stupid amount of money. We all know why. I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna, you know, go over some long conversation about how funny that number is, or you know why it's meaningful to collectors uh, and non-collectors too. You know, uh, hint, hint. Thirty-two dollars with twelve bids. Uh, very interesting uh, note to say the least. I wish it was on a dollar bill. I think that'd be a lot cooler, but. Um, you know, still, still a good sale. Still, Jamie is going to pocket a few bucks in profit. And you just go ahead and continue looking for more notes. Uh, another low digit here. Uh, a lot more impressive. Ronald sold this uh, nice crispy dollar bill uh, to the tune of $50.99. 12 bids. Serial number 675 uh, is what we got here. And that thing looked like it was pulled out of a, a bank strap. It's that fresh and new. Uh, we also have a binary radar. This one is uh, sexy. I love this one. Uh, featuring a lot of eights, six of them to be exact, and a couple of twos. Uh, I love the way this one looks. Uh, $56.55. 42 bids on this particular piece. And you're going to see that even this particular note uh, has some wear, but it's very even wear. Like, it's not super ragtag. It might be a VF20 on its best of days, but um, it's it's a very consistently worn note, uh, and it looks to be in really good shape. But that serial number, boy, people pay a premium for eye appeal, and that definitely, definitely fits the bill there on that one. 
Uh, here is our first seven of a kind note on a dollar bill. This one ended up selling for $47.09 this time around. And uh, they did charge $4.50 for shipping as a uh, separate item there. But you can see that there's uh, seven threes and then one lonely four in the middle somewhere on this uh, 2017A. Uh, so a couple of very hard folds in there. You know, so that's also worth mentioning. But uh, again, uh, seven of a kind, seven in a row notes are very, very sought after today. Um, and the prices are, believe it or not, they're kind of all over the place. I've seen them sell for a few hundred dollars, depending on the number. Like sevens and eights and zeros are some of the more popular numbers that people, people collect into. And a few bangers kind of end things off on here. Uh, here's this $100 bill. Uh, it looks to be in really nice shape, if not close to being crisp and circulated, but it's got seven twos in the serial number with that one lonely one right in the middle. Almost a solid. Crazy. So they were asking $399.99. Um, this one, if it did sell for between $250 and $300, would be perfect. And that's kind of like where I've seen these particular notes sell for um, in the past on the much larger denoms, whether it's a 50 or a 100 so, uh, very nice note. I love finding these. Um, they're few and far between, but the more notes that you search through, ladies and gentlemen, you're, the better your odds are at finding things like this. Um, much like trying to win a lottery, okay? If you bought one lottery ticket, uh, you know, you still have a pretty good chance of winning because it gives you a chance. Not saying it's a really good chance, but if you... Uh, if you ordered 100,000 lottery tickets, your chances of winning go up exponentially. So again, it's it's all a numbers game uh, during the hunt. And $100 bills, yeah, I'm going to say that their face value is high enough that it doesn't, doesn't necessitate hunting through $100,000 at a time. Um, most banks, you know, they don't have that readily available unless they're a big, big bank with a lot of merchant services. Um, so I would say just stick with $1 bills. You can go through a lot more paper that way for a minimal, minimal cost. And uh, check this one out. This is a true binary radar. I mean, this thing is uh, sexy, even though the paper and the quality of the note is not. $96.12. Uh, off 26 bids, features zeros and ones, and it reads the same way frontwards as it does backwards. So, uh, yeah, binaries, still very much hot, 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 hot in today's market. And uh, I would uh, assume that we're going to continue to see some pretty strong um, values here on binaries and true binaries in the foreseeable future. It's just people love these things. And the final note for today is this $20 bill. We got ourselves a double quad banger here. Uh, we have a double quad, which is four of a one number grouped together and four of another number grouped together. So uh, we have four fives and four sixes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of your high tier fancy serial number types, this time on a $20 bill. Of course, our good old boy, Ronald JH2003, bringing it home here on the fancy serial number report. $123.50, 22 bids, very nice here. Um, and if the note were a dollar bill, <coughs> my friends, uh, they would still sell for about 100 to 150 bucks. All right, so that's, you see the difference there on the uh, the value uh, and it does just doesn't change. Pretty cool, man, that, that's a great looking find right there. And uh, that, my friends, signals the end of our fancy serial number kind of market wrap for, I would say, the week. Uh, that was a lot of fun to look uh, look through and see what's been selling. The market has been robust. It's been great. Um, you know, uh, the amount of people that are posting notes up for sale has been going up. Uh, the collector base, you know, is growing by a much slower rate than the actual sales aspect of it. But as long as you have the good quality fancy serial numbers um, that collectors want, like a double quad, like a low serial number, like binaries or seven of a kinds, then you're going to be in good shape. But if you're just throwing out something that, you know, your 
leveraging like my currency collection, um, you know, coolness rating index type bull, um, then you're going to have a much harder time because, you know, um, they, they have to appeal to the buyer. Uh, they have to have that emotional connect um, in order for it to be monetizable. And sometimes that's just the way it is on those. Uh, so that's it, guys. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. I want to thank each and every single one of you for tuning in today. Hopefully you got a little bit of uh, takeaway from all of the data that we were able to share here today. Um, but that's it. I'm out of here. You guys take care. Happy hunting. Hopefully you guys find your fancy to make your life even more fancy. I'll see you guys later. So long.